Clubs and welcome back to another video. So today it's going to be a very exciting video because it's going to be a drugstore video. Yes, you guys. And this is by the brand Elf. So if you guys are interested and want to see how I got this look, then go ahead, subscribe, like, and comment. And let's get started with this tutorial. I'm gonna go ahead and color correct. I'm gonna use my Hydrating Camel Concealer. This is in the shade Medium Peach, so it is a little more yellowish, and I'm gonna cover like my, any redness that I have. Let's go with the sponge, which I do. I am using the e.l.f. sponge. This is one of my favorite sponge. I haven't used it in a while, you guys. But this sponge, I highly, highly recommend it. It's very soft. And as you can see, it is taking a little bit of the product. So just be very careful. I'm going to go right in and... Top my e.l.f. HD powder and this is in the soft luminous and I'm just gonna go ahead and go with any brush and just tap a little bit to kind of conceal the concealer so that it doesn't move around I have a new product that I've been wanting to share with you guys and it's only I'm gonna leave the um, products um, the prices um, this was only three dollars this is the elf bite size eyeshadow and this is in pumpkin pie of course I had to go with like super cute colors it has two mattes and two shades. very simple look you guys because we are only working with these colors started with this pumpkin pie color and I'm going to go in with my brush, blending brush. So grab any blending brush that you have. And then as usual, just go into the crease. And this is pigmented, as you guys can see. And I'm going lightest, just so that we could build that up. And I am taking it that way. I always like to tell you guys if it has a lot of fallout just because I know a lot of people get bothered by that. But for me, I honestly, I don't mind um, fallout. As long as my eyeshadow is working, then I'm fine with it. And it's crazy how e.l.f. has grown so much, you guys because like their products honestly i can say they are they are great the only thing i don't like about um their products is their eyelashes they are just too too fake but it's a, i highly recommend those lashes if you're a starting um, makeup artist that wants to learn how to apply eyelashes you guys that's a great um investment because you won't um i think it's great because you won't give you know um how do you say that word um you're not gonna you're not gonna waste <laughs> you're not gonna waste um money on like high-end lashes so i think it's a great investment starting with like very cheap eyelashes that's how you'll be able to master applying lashes because i remember when i first started doing makeup i was so scared of eyelashes i that was the part that i hated most but now it's like my favorite part like the lashes just make you know your eye look we're gonna go with the darker shade right here which is this one and tap that here. Tap 
it here so you guys can see. So the next thing we're going to go is with our flat brush. So let me grab a flat brush that I haven't used. I think I've used them all and I haven't cleaned. I'm going to go in with this one right here. It's no. I'm just going to go all over the crease. And while that is pigmented, you guys. And I love it how it, it, it feels creamy. It does not feel like powdery. And it's not doing any fallout. I was trying to get the green one because I really wanted to work with the green one, but it was sold out. So I had to, I ended up ordering this one, which is fine. This is in the shade Fair Beige, and I just cut that. You guys know I love doing that. See, I know it's dirty, you guys. It is so soft. It is too soft, I would say. It's nice though. It's really nice. I like to cut and then I just bring it in here. Okay. I know you guys, I know. I don't have an e.l.f. mascara, but I'm gonna use a drugstore, which is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Very Black um, Mascara. Um, this is the e.l.f. Um, Jet Black. This is one of the, look how dirty it is. It's one of my favorites. Um, and then I'm just going to do my wing liner. this one is gonna go into the trash because it's already clumpy you guys but it's so dual lashes my dual um this one is in dark i love it and since i don't like the elf um i don't like the elf lashes so lashes are in um these are the camisole camisole go in with the elf flawless finish finish foundation this is in the color buff it's a light with peachy undertone this is what it looks like um and this one it's a oil free satin finish i'm gonna shake it and we're gonna apply it But I love this one. So now we're going to bronze up the face. And you guys know this is one of my go-tos. I have a brand new e.l.f. Um, this is a 16-hour camel concealer and rich chocolate. Love, love, love. I have two colors because one is super peachy. And one is, so one is medium peach, and then one is medium peach, and this one is fair beige, which is a little too, too bright. So I'm just going to mix them both. This is medium peach, and then to brighten, this is fair beige. Camel concealer, um, camel sponge, and... with my HD powder I'm gonna go under my eyes to set my eyes it is very powdery so be very careful the elf halo glow setting powder this is I believe this is the light one it doesn't say on here 
Yeah, this is the light one. And I'm just gonna face, I'm gonna set it all over the face. This is what it looks like. Little Fiji matte. Um, it's blush and the bronzer, which we're gonna use. Just go in with any brush you like. I have my favorite, you guys know, so. You guys this brush blush is beautiful you can add so much and it just looks so beautiful sun-kissed now I did used to have the infused one I didn't like it it was just too I don't know just did not like that highlight my inner corner i'm gonna go in with the elf this is in white gold which it is pigmented you guys you guys will see right now so look how nice and pigmented that is I mean, it's intense. And then I like to just go in and dust any excess. So it blends in and dust the excess. For lips, I have the e.l.f. Liquid Matte Lipstick. This is in the shade Blushing Rose. And then I have this e.l.f. Lip Lacquer in Clear. They're both new. But I don't have a lip liner I, i'm not even sure if they have a lip liner and i love this one it is pigmented a little goes a long way and it it is matte you guys i do have a setting spray and it's a matte but i'm hoping it doesn't leave me white cast i did i believe i did a review and it left me white spots so i'm just gonna give it a try again this is the elf matte blotting mist has K-Long Clay. This is what it looks like. Um, this just says that it's a mighty mattifying touch up sp um, spray. Helps absorb excessive oil. Um, so we'll see. So this, you guys, I don't recommend it. It's just going to leave you white spots so i don't recommend it you guys now let's go with the lacquer oh it smells so good smells so good you guys so this is the final look what do you guys think it is all affordable makeup from the brand elf said it was my first time trying that lip gloss and i really loved it um the eyeshadow as you guys can see worth it three dollars like everything is affordable and it's less than 15 bucks the only thing that i don't recommend you guys is getting the elf blotting mist because it has like it leaves white spots so don't don't do it um but i recommend everything from the brand elf you guys it is worth it affordable not going nowhere but yeah you guys thank you guys so much for watching don't forget before you leave subscribe like and comment and i'll see you guys on my next video bye makeup loves